G'day, welcome back to Brewpeg. This video is going to be a bit different than what we normally do. It's going to be a review on some of the gear that we use on our expedition boat. A boat that's set up to go from the frozen bays of Antarctica to the tropics. Brewpeg is a 70 tonne expedition boat and that sounds like a big boat but we get very limited when it comes to space so every single piece of equipment on this boat has to be something that we can trust you know indefinitely it has to be a really robust system and that's what we want to talk to you about today our Auto LM3 laser etch printer. Some of the things we look for when we're choosing gear on Brewpeg is strength, the practical application, safety, innovation, accuracy, precision, resilience, and wherever possible, simple to set up. So how does it measure up with that as a criteria? Well, let's start with safety. We're a boat that has a lot of volunteers on board. So if Burke's ever up here and he needs to make the machine safe, not only can you press this red button and stop the machine, it works very well as a practical joke. Now I have to start again. Exactly. But on a serious note, this machine's got some great features. This key here allows you to lock out the machine. So if you've got people that are not trained around it, in our case volunteers, if they don't know anything about laser safety, it's a great way to make sure that nobody gets hurt. You can see the machine itself set up in the warehouse of Brewpeg. We're using Lightburn as our program to do all of our design work. It comes with a little toolbox that you can put it together. So you've, got, you've literally got everything you need to put it together and get it running. Whenever you're using these machines, you're always supposed to have safety glasses on as well. So they come with the safety glasses needed. So you can either connect via the Wi-Fi antenna with your phone or you can connect via USB and use whatever kind of program you like on your computer and you can also use their built-in web interface. What are you doing? Oh, just implementing some groups for this. Now that Jess got what she wanted, time to print. Another thing that we're pretty chuffed with with this machine is how good the build quality is. So it's good quality aluminium extrusions, locked together and then held in place with Allen key bolts. You can do some pretty large size, it does 400 by 400 millimeters as the, the cut or engraving area. So it's good for lots of different materials. We've done stainless, plywood, we've got some hardwood oak that we've etched into before. It's really great at cutting various different things out of quite fine um, as well. So you can do things like switchboards, panel boards. It's great for labels. And because you've got that size, that 400 by 400 bed, you've got a lot of different options um, in terms of what you can do with it. And for our American friends, we did double check that you can in fact print on a measuring banana. The phone app that comes with the unit is pretty intuitive to use as well. Here you can see us taking a photo of our cat, loading it up into the machine, and then starting the print process so that we end up with that image on a piece of plywood. If you're looking at a machine like this to do production runs, the LM3 by Auto is pretty amazing. Each one of these panels is printed on stainless, they're 400 by 400 mil. It takes eight hours to print each of these panels and there's 12 panels in total. So this was a, a mammoth effort for that machine to do it and it did it flawlessly. We can absolutely stand by the fact that you can do long production runs and you don't have any hiccups by you know overstressing the machine, it just handled it with a breeze. In terms of accuracy, this was cut out using the LM3 Auto. We've been working on a secret project to show our appreciation to everybody during our GoFundMe using a donated Auto LM3 laser engraver that we were given by a sponsor. Thanks, Zenus. It took over 80 hours to print. So as you know, about a year ago, we had some pretty catastrophic issues with our main engine. And our patrons and our viewers and supporters urged us to go and run a GoFundMe to get Brewpeg her legs again. One of the stories that came out of the GoFundMe, out of the thousands of stories that we saw, was the story of Ryan McConnell and his father, Billy. Billy was a seaman. He'd been on the sea for years, and it was in his bones. And he passed away during COVID. But one of the things that Ryan told us about was uh, Billy really got into watching Brewpig, and he said it was just one of those projects that he absolutely loved, because that kind of captures the heart of Brewpig. Like, being with people that you love, doing things that are in your bones, being on the sea and having some pretty awesome times. We've dedicated Brewpeg's beautiful new 855 to the memory of Billy McConnell. Immortalised in stainless steel just as he would have loved it. 
of course, etched on board using our Auto LM3. There's a couple of other people we also want to thank as well. So we really love this machine on Brewpeg, gets a lot of work and it's incredibly handy. If you're curious and want to get one of these machines for yourself, go to Cenus. there's a link in the description below to pick up the same machine that we use on Brewpeg.